Welcome to My Password app. My Password app is a secure and encrypted password management solution. When you first been invited, you will receive an email called Welcome to My Password app. To get started, open the email and click on Activate Account. You will see that this is coming from your MSP, and this is asking you to set up your account. Go ahead and input these questions. The passphrase is extremely important. This is your company's encryption key, and this is what keeps your data separate from that of the MSPs. If you forget this passphrase, all of your data from behind it will be unrecoverable. This is not a password and does not need to be any special set of characters. We would recommend the passphrase be something memorable for your organization. Then be sure to set your password. and activate your account. Welcome to my password app. This is your home page. On this page you will see as the administrator you have a few different options here. First of all, in the top right hand corner you have your username. This is where you can edit your profile, and set up a couple of your preferences. We then have the bell icon for any important alerts requiring your attention. The heart is for your favorites and the reverse clock for your recent activity. You also have the ability here to search for all of your passwords. And you'll notice there's a shortcut and several other menu options along the top. On the left hand side, your side menu here, you will see a My Vault. Your My Vault is yours and yours alone. No one else within your organization or your MSP's organization can see inside this vault. You are also able to give a My Vault to all of your staff. The next thing here is your Company Vault. This is where all of your company's passwords should be stored. Here you'll see is the root folder where all passwords would get kept. We recommend creating a folder structure so that you can organize your passwords into logical grouping. The folder structure also has a second purpose and that being to limit or permit access based on who should be accessing these passwords. When you create a new folder, you can title this folder whatever you would like, and it will ask you to assign a group. If you leave this blank, you do not assign it to a group, then this folder is accessible by everybody within your password app. If you do assign it to a group, then only those people in your group will be able to see the passwords. I don't have any groups in here yet. We're going to go over that in just a quick moment. To set these groups up and to make sure that your staff are accessing the correct information, let's go to Access Control. You will see two things here, permission levels and security groups. Permission levels are what people can do in the tool and security groups are what they can see. You are the site administrator. Your staff will be the site user. For security groups, you can go ahead and create them and title them as you like and assign users. Currently, I have no users to assign other than myself.
to bring new users into the tool after you've brought in your passwords and set up your folder structure is when I would recommend doing that. We go to user management, users, and we create a new user. You simply fill in their information and create a new user. You simply fill in their information. Make sure you set their permission level where you'd like them to enter the tool. And if you've already started your security groups, you would be able to assign them before they even join the tool. Once you've made your decisions, you go ahead and hit Create. Now you can see that Ellen Rose has been invited to join your site, and she is pending setup. Ellen will be receiving an email welcoming her to your site. Once she has accepted that email, this will switch to active. Once it shows active, you will be able to edit her account. You can send the passphrase or reset the user. You may also disable the user if at any time you guys have parted ways. One of the other advantages of the My Password app is the reports available to you. You can see how many people in the tool are using it, who is inputting passwords, what passwords have not been changed, and other very useful information. Let's look under Settings. You will see here a few options in terms of setting up your page. If, when using security groups, you do not want your other users to see folders that they do not have access to, then you would turn on Hide Unassigned Folders from Users. Also, if you would like to know your passphrase, you can push this button here and it will show it to you in plain text. The next tab over is two-factor authentication. This is the decision you are making for all of the users inside the tool. If you toggle this on, you will see the various different methods of two-factor authentication available to you. And then it is asking you if you would like to allow your staff to change their method of two-factor communication and whether or not you would like to force all users on two-factor authentication. You can force users to use two-factor and let them change their method, or you can pay for or choose a method for your staff, forcing them all to use in this setup instance would be Duo. We also have credential types here in the tool. You'll see we have loaded 40 different types for you. If these do not work for your business or you would like a different type of credential type, you have the option here to create your own. Simply type it in and it will join the list. There's the one I just created. If you would like to only see the credential types that you have chosen, we go back to that general and we show only custom credential types. If you turn this on and hit save, it will then only show us the ones that we create. You also have the ability here through the download section to download our Chrome extension. The Chrome extension gives you access to all of your passwords from within My Password app while you are visiting the various websites throughout your day. Not only will this securely store your passwords, but it will help you to input them in the screen without exposing them as often. Another feature with sites is the ability to share passwords with your MSP. 
Not only do you share passwords, but they stay current no matter who updates it, yourself or someone on the MSP side. They also have this ability to share passwords with you. Let's create a password and share it to our MSP. So there I've just quickly created a password. You can see it now showing up in my root folder. I am going to select it. I'm going to go to the top of the screen under with selected and I'm going to share my password. A couple of different options have now popped up. I could share this credential as read only if I don't want them to be able to edit it. I can share with all staff at the MSP, or I can unselect that option and choose to only share my password with their administrator, Mr. Pennyworth. I can also show the change history or not of this credential. Go ahead and hit share. You will now see an indicator that shows that this is a shared password. Now if you or the MSP changes that password, it will always be current. You can also take a password that has been shared, take your with selected and move that password anywhere you would like within the tool. In this instance, I'm moving it to the test. You'll see it has now come up into this folder and it is still shared. Moving your password around will not break the share. When your MSP shares passwords to you, they will land in your company vault here at the root folder. You then follow those same steps to move those passwords wherever you would like them within your tool. If you have any questions or concerns, do reach out as we would be more than happy to support you. This is my password app. Thank you for watching.